Good morning, everyone. First off, this is the new updated list of sponsors of December 2018. I would like to thank everyone on here, especially for the really cute little notes you leave behind. I really appreciate that. I read them all. And uh, I really enjoy reading that. So um, yesterday I ran out of time. But I guess most of you sort of figured that out already. So right now I'm mixing up my resin, as you can see. And I have some extra cups because I'm going to do a couple of colors. And I'm going to do some, as you can see over here, some stuff, glitter stuff to put in them. But I'm going for the... Um, uh, I'm using Patty's Pigments. This one is Crystal Sapphire. And if you guys want to... Uh, get a deal on them. This is it. That's where you go to. And this is the discount code. I know it's really long, but it's worth it. So you get a discount when you buy some. And while you're there, um, even the um, they have uh, a really good deal on putting uh, your art on silk, like I told you before. So um, if you want to give a special gift to someone, um, that's uh, something that I would really think is beautiful, putting an art piece on silk. So uh, use the discount code and it'll be just that little bit more cheaper to do. Um, I'm uh, going to first put on a layer of this color. This is, um, like I said, sapphire blue. I want to keep the colors um, a little bit muted because um, I don't want it to distract from the, um, ooh, that's a little bit too much. I don't want it to distract from the, uh, the be beads on top. So I'm putting in a little bit more. There we go. And mixing in that beautiful, beautiful mica. So this is sapphire blue, as you can see, and it has a really beautiful shine to it. And it's a muted color so that these uh, things will pop better. And I am just going to spread it over and then come back in with a lighter color. But I do want it to sort of merge together. And uh, what I've put on here is uh, little bits of mosaic and glass drops and these you can find all over the internet um, they shouldn't be too expensive I've seen them really expensive but I've also seen them pretty cheap so if you look around first figure out what is a good price for you but don't just buy the first one you see because that's usually the most expensive now, um, there's also little mosaic tiles in there. They're five millimeters. That's really small. And um, they are laying on top of the glass. I didn't, um, I didn't glue them down because you don't need to. As you can see, the, the resin is sort of, um, it's sort of like uh, batter. It just, you know, fades into the... Uh, into the whole thing. It goes in between all the beads and that sort of makes it one big thing together. Now I'll show you what I mean with I have to stir it up again. This time I'm going to add again Patty's pigments and it's white pearl because I, I want that really nice. Oh there's a little spoon in there already. So I'm going to put that one in there, a little bit of white pearl, and we're going to stir it up. But this, this layer, I want it, this is really pretty. I only put in like a, a really little bit and look at the, uh, look at the beautiful shimmer that comes off it. But I do also want to put in a little bit of wisteria. So a little bit of wisteria, just a touch, not too much. I just want a hint of it. See that? 
just that little bit and already it has a hint of lavender so I kind of like that too so there we go and that we're gonna put exactly over the, the middle because I want this to sort of push the uh, the dark away there we go and then in a bit I'm gonna heat it up so that it'll sort of spread out together that's it And already I can see those uh, beads pop up. First it had that darker color on it, but now because of this, it is sort of, they come back to life. Okay. Now, let's see if I got it all. Yeah, most of it. And this, uh, these little sticks I have, these are from Artist Till Death. And if you really like some uh, really cool resin pours, I would say go check her out or them out. It's really beautiful. Okay, I think that's enough. As you can see, there are some really awesome effects coming from these um, from these beads. It's like it was, I don't know, some sort of a movement. But this is really pretty. Um, I'm gonna st I'm gonna stop the uh, the camera now because I have to make my next batch. So uh, that'll come over. It's gonna be a clear batch, and then we're gonna add these uh, really fun little glitter accents to it. But I'm, I think I'm going to go for a little bit more of the uh, lighter colors. I also have some more in my pocket. These are um, really pretty, so I think I'd, I'd use this one, the purpley one. Not that blue, it's too uh, bright for me. I'll, I'll figure out some uh, different colors. Oh, I like this one too. Okay, be right back. Okay, you guys, we're back, and uh, I have mixed up um, some pearl white uh, from the patty patty pigments uh, white pearl it's called and I've put in my um, special effect glittery things so we're gonna start off up here and I'm not gonna really go over the um, the pattern too much I'm just gonna do on the sides I'm gonna do a really thin little line and at the end I'm going to put more on because I want it to be a little bit separate. So here we're going to put on, uh, you can't see that I'm off, uh, off the, uh, the board, but I'm doing the same at the bottom as I am here at the top. i got to be careful because I have my heat gun next to me that I don't put my arm on it because that would be very painful. Okay, now a little bit down the side, which we will blow over. We'll see what happens with that. A little bit more here, a little bit more down the side here. And we're going to spread it out with the heat gun. Okay, let's see.
Okay, sorry for all the noise, but has to be done. Now, um, here, I love this top bed here. I like how this feathers out, but down here, I, I really want a little bit more of that blue. So I'm spreading it down a little bit. And the same I'm going to do here. And here it's okay, I like that. Just a little bit. Let's put a little bit more on here. There we go. Make sure that it'll go over the side. Same for this side. Let me spread that out a little bit. <clears throat> because I do want it to go a little bit over the side because I have been, um, of course, I uh, sanded down the sides, you know, to take off that sharp bit. And the resin really would like to stick to it, so that's good, because then it gives the uh, illusion that it's one piece, which I like. We can go... Okay, I think we are ready. I might have to help it along with my finger just a little bit, just to make the side smooth. There's already some on the bottom, but that doesn't matter. You can cut that off with a razor blade really well. That really works out. There we go. Spreading this one out a little bit. Okay. That's going okay. Okay. Now this one, there's some on the bottom here. I'm going to spread that along the side also. And this also sort of helps um, because I heard someone say that their resin came off. But if you're only doing the top and there's no um, connection to the top and the sides, I think that will happen, yes. So that's why uh, I, I go along the side make sure that the resin goes over the side and sort of um, makes a connection to uh, all four sides to sort of prevent that from happening. Okay, one more time with the uh, air blower. Let's see. This I really like, but I would like it a little bit more dropping off. And on this side also, let's see if we have a little bit more of that blue. And we can just, because otherwise it doesn't match the other one. And I do want it to match. That's it. Okay. Oh, but you can't see that anyway. But okay. You'll see it when it's dry. Here we go. Okay. Now, there's only one thing that I uh, want to do is uh, put um, my torch over it to make sure the, the little bubbles are out. And as I'm doing this, I'm watching to see if I see those little air bubbles pop. And we're doing pretty okay because I don't see many of them pop. Just a tiny little bit. Okay, we're ready. Now I'd really like to show you from up close because they are gorgeous. I love how that, that little green stuff pops up. That is really pretty. And then, you know, when I find that really pretty, I have the feeling that I want to put some more on here. But sometimes uh, less is more, so we'll just not do that. Uh, I love the pattern that the blue, sapphire blue made. 
and that is um that is really you know the whole um picture is really about that dark blue that is sort of bubbling and flowing in the background so uh once more guys if you want to uh, to get yourself a good deal on the pigments this is it put the video on pause write down the discount code go over to www.resinartshop and get yourself some pretty 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 stuff to play with okay guys i'm gonna sign off right now because i have to slowly move them to oh maybe i can do a close-up and then uh, maybe i'll lose audio so well i'll just not talk i'll just give you a close-up no i can do it differently i can just stop this video and i'll do it then so see you in a bit okay this is um uh, by hand so as you can see there are some really really nice patterns in that dark sapphire blue then we have those beautiful beads and then we have the top that is really sparkly getting you really in there see how pretty that is all those effects and although the other one is pretty much the same and that's the thing you want to really uh, do if you have two panels you want to do them at once as to make sure that you get the same effect okie dokie so that's what they're looking like and of course I'm going to you can even um, uh, drill holes in it and hang them for the window or you can put them in some sort of a stand and place them in your windowsill or as an art object somewhere on a cabinet, I don't know. But there's a lot of uh, possibilities to uh, use these. So uh, I want to thank you all for watching, guys. I'm going to clean this up and we're going to go back to um, acrylic pouring. And I am going to do the Elise technique again, try at least. She is a master in that, and if you haven't seen her yet, pop over there. Um, I'll, I'll put the link in the next video where you can uh, just click on it and you'll go straight to her uh, YouTube channel. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Love you all to pieces.